Hi everyone. Welcome to Jack and Cat Adventures. Today we're going to be making um, candy suckers, chocolate candy suckers for Christmas or Thanksgiving, whatever holiday you want. Um, it all depends on the molds you're using. So um, to get started, I went to the bake shop. It's called um, Sweet Beginnings in downtown Willoughby, Ohio. <clears throat> Excuse me. But you can also get these at um, Michael's, Joanne Fabrics, Walmart. They all have it. So get the colors that you want for your uh, painting, okay? So what I have here is I have some purple, blue, yellow, just uh, regular milk white, green, milk chocolate, red, and orange, okay? So what we do is I put these in, a, a, I put these in ramekins and I put it on a hot plate. Now, I don't know if you could get hot plates anymore. I have the, I've had these for years that I got at um, like garage sales and my mom had some, so I just do that. But you can also use a microwave just every like 15 seconds, stir it. You don't wanna overdo it, it'll seize and you have to throw it away, especially the white. Now, when we get to filling the actual molds, then you'll need more white and, and milk chocolate or dark chocolate or whatever color you're using. And that when I put a lot more than just what's in these cups, I start it out in the microwave and finish it on my hot pad. Just keep stirring it. And um, so we're gonna let these melt and as soon as they melt, we're gonna start painting. Mine are just getting ready to be, um, ready to be used. I'm using these paint brushes they're just regular old paint brushes, but only use them for the food when you use them. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start, I have these candy cane uh, molds, they're um, sucker molds, and on the candy cane right here, it has a bow. So I'm going to do the bow in green. So now what you want to do is you take your paintbrush and you just dip it in the colors you want. And you keep painting. Now do a coat and if it's not cold in your house put it in the refrigerator let it get a little hard and bring it back out and see if it needs another coat now how to tell if it needs another coat is once it's set up from your refrigerator or just set aside for right now um, in order to put the second coat on the first coat has to be dry if you hold it up to the light like this and you can see through the paint where you painted it needs another coat until you cannot see through it anymore then it's done okay so here's I'm gonna, an example here's an example all right so we started with the red right here and as you can see it wasn't it wasn't thick enough you can see right through it so you're just going to keep putting color in there let it dry between layers until you can't see through it anymore so i'm going to start this um bow and all you do is you dip into your um chocolates just make sure they're really really melted and you don't have like big chunks of um chocolate left in there that didn't melt because you can't it has to be smooth or it won't work okay and you just play around you can use any colors you want i'm going to do the red and white on the um candy cane part what i'm going to do is just do the red and then after that gets cold i'm just going to pour white into it but we'll we'll show you all that when we get there so i'm going to paint my bow and don't do too thick of a um coating it first okay you don't want it gloppy and this takes a while so you know plan on doing it all day long and while you're watching me do this please subscribe down below to our YouTube channel so we can bring more creative works to you and also, click the like button. That also helps the uh, YouTube algorithm. And uh, that helps get us out to more people. Alright, so I have one coat on. And as you can see, you can see through to the front or front to back. So I got to let this harden. Probably takes about five to ten minutes. Um, if you put it in the refrigerator, it'll take less than three minutes. And once it's hardened, then we're going to paint another coat of the green. All right. So while my red was um, hardening, I started on my green 
or I did my green. While my green was hardening, I did my red, and I'm letting that harden. Now, like I said, when you paint, you can hold it up and see where you've missed. So you have to go back and redo that. Now, my green needs a lot more on here, and I can kind of fix it up a little bit better. So that's what I'm going to do. As soon as it hard, the red hardens, I'm going to go back and do the green. All right, so my um, painting's still drying. I, this took me four coats. Now, you guys, put a whole day, two, three days aside just for doing chocolate. It takes a long time if you want it done right. So now I'm letting this um, get hard again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a toothpick <clears throat> and I'm going to get all the colors where they don't belong. Like I have a little bit of green that's going to go into the white here. I'm just going to um, knock it off with the toothpick. And if it kind of falls in there, take a clean brush and just brush it out, okay? Once this hardens enough, I'm going to fill it just with white. So we'll do that once this hardens. Now, while that was... Um, drying I started on another one so while yours are drying just keep going because it takes a long time all right now that my colors have hardened I'm going to take a toothpick and wherever now turn it where you see where you don't paint on the outside okay hold it up to your light and it looks really really good um, now what I do is I just go along where there's not supposed to be like red that's going into the white just kind of take your um, toothpick and scratch the chocolate off and like I said if it doesn't come off um, come out take a brush and just go like that so I'm going to do that all the way around my stuff and then we'll get ready to pour all right so now that I cleaned all mine up now this is where the sticks come in this is a six inch stick I got it at the candy store where I got the chocolates from and it depends on your mold. Now, if your mold doesn't have, um, like this one has like a, a stop stop thing for your stick, stop. Some of them are open. If they're open, I would use a longer stick. You could always cut the stick. We're, we're making a bouquet in a little bucket. But mine has a stop here. So I'm using the six inch in here. And what you do is you just place your, your sticks in your chocolate and then what you're going to do is I'm just going to use this because um, it's melted already just take this out so right here all right so I'm just going to stir this really good make sure it's runny like melted not runny but melted and make sure that the whole time you guys are um, working on your your uh, paintings you stir all the colors constantly and leave make sure they're on the heat all right so what you're going to do is you're going to um, fill your mold now don't overfill it okay because if you overfill then you have a ton of trimming to do so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start by just putting a little bit in at a time kind of pushing it around so it goes all over push it into the corners and everything <clears throat> now don't worry if your stick moves, you can move it back. Okay. Put this in just a little bit more. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to gently, and I mean gently, just kind of flatten it out. Make sure you push your sucker stick back in. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit more because it seems to need a little bit more. You'll be able to tell. And just kind of smoothen it out so it's not all wanky in the back. Okay, and then we're just going to let that, once we get these filled, we're going to put them in the refrigerator and then we'll take them out once the chocolate has set. Alright, so I have these filled. I gently, and I mean gently, just tap them lightly to try and get all the air bubbles out. Now if you see some air bubbles and things like that, just take a toothpick and just knock them out. Make sure your sticks are covered really well with the chocolate. And that's it. Just make sure the backs are kind of smooth. And I'm going to put this in my refrigerator until it hardens. Alright, so these are totally set up from in the refrigerator. So now just slightly kind of bend them very so lightly then you're going to flip them gently onto wax paper 
So just kind of do that. And then you're just kind of going to go like this. And lo see, they loosen just a little. Don't hit them hard. You'll, you'll crack them. Look at how beautiful those look, you guys. Okay, so once they're done and you see this um, dirt, you know, chocolate in here, you're going to want to wash these. Do not use soap and water, just hot water. But if you're going to reuse them, you better make sure they are totally dry. No wet at all. The water will seize your chocolate and it'll totally be ruined. You can't do anything with it. Now, if you're going to reuse it, just take a um, paper towel and just wipe it out. When you're totally done, you want to use hot water and get them clean really well. Now, what I wanted to show you was, and this is just all up to you, it doesn't matter. See how I have a little bit left over here? What I like to do is take a really sharp knife and just kind of gently with the tip of my knife, I just broke it off, see? So it looks really nice and put together. Just be careful, don't do too much around the, um, the stick because you don't want the stick to come loose, but there you go. Look at how cute that is, all right? So I'm going to finish doing these and then we're going to do the chocolate ones, the dark, the milk chocolate. All right, so I trimmed off all the excess and this is what they look like. Now you're going to put them in a container, place wax paper down first, and then do single layers. And in between each layer, you're going to use wax paper, okay? Now, if you use any flavoring, which we're going to use later in a couple of series, if it's mint or anything like that, you do not want to put anything that has a strong flavor with just the regular chocolates. Everything will taste like that flavor, okay? So now we're going to move on to the reindeer. Same thing. I'm just going to flip them over. I cleaned up my wax paper from my white. And I'm just gently going to release these. There we go. Okay. These look great. Um, just a little bit of trimming on these. Just a little bit. And try not to touch the chocolate with your hands because your hands will melt the chocolate. Then what I do is I take a brush. Where'd the brush go? Where is it? Oh. And I just wipe off the excess with the brush. That's it. And then we just put them in the thing. Look how cute those are. All right? All right, so now that we're all done with making our um, suckers, our chocolate suckers, we're gonna assemble um, a bouquet. So I just got one of these cheap buckets from um, Hobby Lobby, it was $1.50. And I put this green um, foam in the bottom and I raised it up with just a little bit of this green grass and then I put the foam on top. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap our, um, our suckers in this. Now this is a number one wrapper. When you get your molds, Take it to your candy store, Joanne Fabrics, Michaels, whatever, and take your mold with you. So that way you can figure out the width and the height, the length that you need for your suckers. Because not all of them are big, and some are small, some are medium, and you don't need as big a wrappers for some of them, okay? So I'm going to wrap all these. I got some ribbon, and I'm just going to curl it over, and then we're going to assemble this. All right, so now that we have our suckers all wrapped, we ended up cutting the bottoms of my wrappers because they were too big, but that's all I had and I did not want to run back out. So what you're going to start with is take a stick and you're going to poke holes in here where you think you're going to put your suckers, okay? So let's just start by putting ours in. And now if you have molds that don't have a sucker stop at the bottom and they're just open, use the bigger suckers uh, sticks because you can cut them. But you would like some longer ones to be taller and I didn't have those, okay? So then I'm just going to start putting, putting things in. And you just got to kind of play around with it. All right, there we go. Just a cute little gift for somebody if you're going to their house. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tuck some of this green in around it and some red. 
You don't have to do this. It just adds more color to it. That's all. And it makes it look finished. But you do not have to spend the money. Um, the only place I found this green um, paper at was Hobby Lobby. I went to Join Fabric, Fabrics, Michaels, the... Um, the candy shops didn't have it, so if you're looking for it, the only place I found it was at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so I got some green in there. Now I'm just going to add some red, just to give it some color. And just kind of put it through. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just kind of lined it up and then tuck it in. And like I said, if you have um, longer um, sticks, use them. All right. So what I'm going to do now is, because I have room in the bottom of mine, just make sure all the suckers are facing outward. And I'm going to put some of the candies that we made that are not on a stick, just to add some color to it, okay? So I think I'll do like a, a blue. And you just kind of set it right in there. You'll see when I'm done. Alright, so here's our finished um, product of our suckers, and as you can see, we just um, put some of the milk chocolates that we made in the bottoms, just to give it a little extra pizzazz. Um, and honestly, you guys, if you can use the big sucker sticks, use them, because this will give us height. I just didn't have them, and I wasn't going to run. It's like an hour away from where I live, so I wasn't going to run. But please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and remember, you do you.